Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the BMW Mini Rallycross Championship final race here at Lydon Hill Hall. Oh, this is going to be an absolute cracker, that is for sure. Oh, Bellaby on pole position and with then Sayer, Ben Sayer in second spot. And then we've got the number 44, David Ellis. But watch out for a driver here, I'm going to call this. Stephen Brown showed some serious pace, uh, is the current championship leader, but hasn't had it all his own way this weekend. But in the semi-finals, maybe the second half of the race showed some incredible pace. So if you can get a good start here, expect him to fire through the pack. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. We have got ourselves four laps of racing. Oh, this is going to be frantic. This is going to be very, very exciting. Eight cars, of course. They all indeed have to take a joker lap. And there is the green light. Stephen Brown already just trying to get in behind the pole position sitter, Bellaby. And he's already up to P2 here. He's got the inside line. And as they come through, Chesson's drift. And round the outside, then it looks like Sayer trying to get back up into P2. Has successfully done so. And it's a brilliant start then from Bellaby, who is indeed the race leader. Fantastic start indeed. Uh, Sayer then in second position, but watch out for Stephen Brown. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't decide to come in and take his joker lap on lap number two. Maybe just trying to play some mind games then with the two drivers in front. As we hear the whistles of the minis come down the hill as the shadows get a little bit longer here at Lydon Hill. Down towards Paddock Bend they come. Again, you see lots of the gravels disappeared now by this stage of the day. As they come through the final chicane, who's going to decide to head through that joker? Well, Stephen Brown is that driver then. Where does he come out, though? That's the big question. Will he come out ahead of Hawks and Emery, Ellis and Turner? We're about to find out then. So Brown comes through. And, well, this is now side-by-side -side action here. It is very, very close then between him and David Ellis. And Ellis, has he managed to hold on to the position? Oh, it's a big dive up the inside by Brown. It's not going to work out, though. There was no contact. Unbelievably, there was no contact between the two drivers. And wow, that is a phenomenal bit of driving then from Ellis. He came into the Joker really, really early. And ultimately, it's worked out for him. That is what the Joker's for. It's a strategy call. He caught it at a perfect time. And wow, can he make any inroads on the front drive? Drivers, though. That is the big question. Bellaby still leads. Sayer into the Joker. He comes on lap number three. So just one and a half laps remaining for our leader. He's coming through Chesson's Drift once again. And ultimately, it's all going to come down on how much pace. Well, there we go. Sayer is ahead. Sayer is ahead. Ellis then is actually going to fall behind. So it's a very, very good drive so far then from Sayer, who was in P2. Once he did indeed come through the Joker, it's all now about what Bellaby does. Bellaby will have to come through now. There's Hawks as well. Bellaby will have to come through the Joker here. No choice not to. And what kind of lap has Sayer put in? Will he be close enough to potentially take the lead of this race? It's going to all be about the exit of Chesson's Drift. It's all going to be about the Dover Slope here into the Joker. He will come. There's Bellaby. Where's Sayer? You're going to see the merge now. Is he close enough here? It's going to be super close. They're almost side by side, but it's not going to be enough. Bellaby does get ahead. What a drive it has been. He has been superb this weekend. I did tell you to watch out for Brown, but ultimately, Bellaby has been sensational this weekend thus far. Merely half a lap to go here, and he will take the checkered flag. As you can see, Sayer, I don't know whether he's trying to potentially defend from the guy behind in P3, or maybe just play mind tricks with the leader of this race. But the number 87 then, Bellaby, is looking absolutely golden here to take the victory as we then round Paddock Ben for the very final time up towards that final chicane across the line we will go and Bellaby will take the checkered flag. Congratulations to him. Superb stuff. And that is a great victory. Sayer then does come in second. Ellis in third. Brown in fourth. Uh, we've then actually got Emery in fifth position. And the top, uh, top four actually finished as they started uh, remarkably, even with all of the action we had during that race. Oh, what an absolute cracker.